New Madrid Fault Area. You said you're getting reports in of booms everywhere, sonic booms. Yeah. But I'm in East Tennessee, and lo and behold, I've been hearing some big booms. Just can't tell us for sure, but they say another major earthquake is eventually coming along the New Madrid Fault Line. Okay, you said this is a repeated cycle. We already have connections to what we see today. That same boiling pattern that's happening now was the same pattern that was happening. Uh, Pierce noted that the, the river would boil, sand blows would erupt on the shore. Do we have any more connection? I mean, we have a comet today. They had a comet back then. They had shaking back then. And we have shaking today of a man who was showing a pond on his property i'm sorry a lake and it was bubbling up from underneath and he said it's from the new madrid fault line hey, they had sonic booms back then we have sonic booms today some strange occurrences have been happening in new madrid fault and professor zillenbach has been researching for 30 plus years on earthquakes and seismic activity and we don't know if this is his last time doing this. He's not in a good condition, but he has a lot to reveal to us. And so we investigate the New Madrid fault together today. And that's why you should listen to what he's about to say next. My wife asked me, why are you doing this stuff? You're retired, you're sick. But uh, I do this for humanity. I'm doing this for my family because I know what's gonna happen. I am probably 95% sure this plan is heading for some sort of global catalyst. But what about New Madrid fault? Uh, what, what do you think is happening under New Madrid right now that the activity is increasing? Is it some magma movements happening there that we're not being told about? Oh, I, I, I think there's movement underneath. Uh, uh, I, I can guarantee you there's something moving underneath us. I can guarantee you. Okay, everybody tuning in in America and even across the world right now, want to know what do you think it is it's uh... well we we all sit under uh, magma our plates are under magma uh, the earth's stomach is very upset right now and uh I think by 2026, we're going to see a lot of problems. You think something magnetic is happening over New Madrid fault area? Because you here, whether you're new or whether you've been here, I look at all your comments and you're telling me that TV glitches malfunction happen around New Madrid fault area. And if there's more, let us know. But people reporting in birds are scrambling, acting strange. And now even Texas, I have comments coming in telling us the strange interference is happening. But do you think something magnetic is happening with the, the three eye atlas comment coming over? And uh, actually it's one called Limon. It's definitely affecting our planet in some way. Uh, definitely magnetic. And uh, uh, between that and the sun. Uh, so what what in New Madrid fall area should people be looking for in the next coming weeks and months since we're starting to get these sonic booms and shaking? Based on your observations, how can people be aware and alert together as a community? Well... <laughs> Ground shaking is one thing. Uh, birds is another thing. Birds actually can give you a lot of uh, uh, information. And this is what you need to listen to because in 1811, the birds did something very strange before a coming New Madrid earthquake. That if it happens today, next week, next month, next year, you will know it's about to happen. The trees would shake together and clash. Trees would snap. The wildlife, waterfowl would fly aimlessly up in the air because they were scared to land on the ground. And you're just stopping here, subscribe right now because we're looking out for every last person who comes in here today. We're going to get you warning signs before it happens so you can see what happened and have a chance to know exactly what's going on. Let's get back to it. Also, the ground, if you can feel the ground, if it, the ground is hot, 
sometimes that is an indicator also uh, um, of a incoming earthquake. Also, water. If you see boiling water, like boiling lakes in there, don't go in it, of course. Uh, that's an indicator. If you see a boiling lake, a, a boiling uh, uh, stream, that, that's also an indicator. What if it like boils for a little bit, but then it stops? Because uh, that happened in uh, Missouri Lake. Uh, Tommy Como recently, it was like actually two months ago. What, what are we getting an indicator of? Everything goes through a, a different cycle and then stops and then comes back again. It, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, it goes to a limit and calms down again, goes up and calms down again. And eventually it goes to a, a it, it's tipping point and blows, if you know what I mean on that. Um, and eventually it's going to reach a tipping point and then. And then you're going to have another repeat of uh, 1811, 1812. Oh, I meant to ask you, Professor. Look, so is this something to do with beneath or is this like something happening magnetically as well in the New Madrid area? Uh, it is magnetic. Yes, it is. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and uh, uh, basically what you're uh, seeing. What we're going to see in the next few days, they said, be prepared. We're going to see some some uh, intense uh, seismic activity. So, what do you mean? Like, you think it's going to be above with the Three Eye Atlas uh, on the uh, 29th? He was absolutely right because today's global seismic activity levels are high. But let's find out what else he knows. So is seismic activity going to increase, get even worse? Like in what regions do you specifically have like locations that you've kind of mapped out? And is this based on like positioning of three eye Atlas or the moon or some act, something else? Yeah, I, I, I would say probably, <laughs> probably somewhere in the ring of fire is my, 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 my best guess. This interview was actually done on October 28, 2025, just to let people know. But he also predicted exactly right along the Ring of Fire, because just today, October 29, 2025, two earthquakes struck off the coast of Oregon. Um, and my reports are, uh, uh, they are under threads as well. Uh, my reports on the climate, I have... Uh, six reports uh, uh, that I wrote um, of under uh, the, for the uh, climate. Uh, those are under threads as well. And I'll be writing more reports on the climate, on seismic activity and uh, volcanic activity. Um, I'm actually, uh, actually trying to prove uh, uh, that the, these events that we are having are leading us into the pole shift. Yeah, so you said you didn't know whether it was a pole shift or electron or a geomagnetic version. I'm complex on either two. Um, okay. what's, what's electromagnetic excursion versus uh, pole shift? Geomagnetic uh, excursion is basically uh, like a pole shift, but it, it just doesn't have that. Uh, I, I call the pole shift has that uh, uh, where everything uh, rips apart, you know, that seven day, uh, I call it that end game. <laughs> you don't have that with the excursion, but with the excursion, everything goes a lot faster with an excursion. Pole shifts are supposed to be, in theory, they're supposed to be slower. Things are going a lot faster and uh, in my uh, my report, they don't go this way. Uh, it just doesn't. Uh, pole shifts, in theory, should not be this thing. Uh, to me, this uh, looks like more of a geomagnetic excursion. But uh, like I said, I need more data to study. Uh, uh, I need more time on that uh, to know what it is. 
And if there's one thing you can say to people that you would like to leave with them, what is that today? Uh, for people not to uh, panic, please do not panic with this stuff. Uh, prepare yourself. Um, you know, pre uh, prepare yourself, have a plan in motion. Um, like I said, I don't know what's really going to happen from one day to the next. Uh, nobody knows. But uh, in the end, this is God's show. Uh, really, it is. And, uh, you know, and maybe I'm called to do this stuff. I don't know. Uh, in some sort of way, m maybe I am. Um, I don't know why I come out to do this stuff. Uh, uh, but all I know is I have to. I am probably 95% sure this plan is heading for some sort of global catalyst pretty soon. We're all put in places for reasons and purposes. And mm -hmm. purpose is being set and you're called to the duty. All you know is you go to it. You know, you don't run away from a shot from it. You're young. I'm old. I'm sick. Uh, you're young with a family. And, uh, you know, you, you got more life, life to live. You know, I don't. Um, my thing is to get, you know, people like yourself, you know, to uh, to some safe zones where you know where, where you can live out the rest of your years you know and i'm pretty sure you know in the next civilization uh, i i think uh, you know my kids your kids will make the world a more better place than it is now i refuse if there's a disaster coming and i feel something is Something is about to happen, and I know, and I'm 90% sure something's about to happen. I'm going to come out and say something. Definitely. And I'm going to prove it. Okay, we can get you on more in the future. This is going to be perfect because I'm pretty sure people, if they enjoyed you, they'll let us know. And if they want to see you again, I'm pretty sure they'll let you. Either that, they're going to put me in a mental hospital. Either one is coming. <laughs> Put me away for good. Either that, I mean, my wife always says she's gonna put me away, gonna put me in a mental hospital. But she doesn't believe any of this stuff I talk about. Oh, man, come but on. I, I tell her to live her life, you know. Um, for people like that, you know. You, you shouldn't let people like that know this stuff because it will just upset them even more. Through these disasters, life is about supporting community. Even if you don't get it at home, that's what we're bringing back here in America, right here on this channel and across the world. So I want to hear from every last one of you. So I'm taking notes of what you say in the comment section, but you need to prepare yourself for the next big interview because it's coming and you'll be right here. But if you see another video, it means it's not out yet. But this one is just as important tied into the big picture. So watch that one.